Yo, 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 what it do, what it do? Yo, what's good, what's good, what it is? Nah, no, just chilling, man. Welcome to 28, put me on TV. Alright, what it is, bro? Nah, I'm just chilling, man. So, how, how things are going for you? So, you know, shit been straight, you feel me? Shit been straight, you know, niggas just been making music and shit, just dropping the music and shit. Yeah, I seen, I seen you got a song with um hot, uh, with hot boy man. How did that song come about? Yeah, shit. I seen Lil Brad and I like, you feel me? I was like, I seen him like on YouTube and shit. I'm like damn, you feel me? I was fucking with kid, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, um, shit. I was trying to do things, shit with. Uh, I was trying to do like more features and shit. So mm-hmm. I reached out to kid. They hit me back, you feel me? I gave him a little, they gave me a little T price. I paid it, you feel me? I had a little feature. That's what it is, that's what it is. So, how how you feel like people been treating you after you made the song? Shit, people been, oh, I, that shit crazy. Like, I ain't lying, that film shit crazy. Cause I, I feel like people just see me different. Everybody see me different. I don't feel like nobody see me the same. Everybody just see me different. It's like a little fame, and that shit is crazy. Mm-hmm. But like, what 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 confidence does it give you seeing that you did a song with him and he got such good reviews and response and stuff? Like, how does that change your game plan going forward? Shit, it ain't really changed my game plan. You feel me? I knew like I was just going to snap on features. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I told myself, you feel me? It was a certain time that I, I used to reach out for a feature and uh, they'll give me a price and I would not, ne- I'll never move on it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I like, man, next time I do some shit, I'm gonna move on it. Mm-hmm. I had Kodak, I had Raw Wave. I was like, man, you feel me? I ain't, I ain't gonna pay it. Paid it, you feel me? Had a little feature and I, I told myself, yo, I'm gonna snap on nigga shit. That's what I'm saying. I'm hard too, mm-hmm. but like forcing my shit, my way in this shit, really. Yeah. So I did that shit. <laughs> Took me like I was in the studio for like a whole day. I'm like, man, I'm gonna get this shit. <laughs> you gonna get it right? I'm gonna get this shit. I mean, got that shit right, and then that shit was hard. Everybody fucking with it. His part, my part. Everybody fucking with it. Mm-hmm. So. You, you was in the studio when you made the song with him, or he sent the verse or, over? Nah, oh nah, he sent it over. He sent it over. Yeah. Over. yeah. So what was the link up like when um, y'all met up um, to do the video? Linked up. Um, you feel me? As soon as he came, you feel me? I he, he knew everybody was rocking with him because I for me. As soon as him, he pulled up, he like you feel me. Um, let him hear my verse because he even hear my verse. He mm-hmm. hear my side of the song. So, play that shit, and then Dan was like, yeah, you feel me? He was rocking with that shit. So, we just got that shit started ASAP, you feel me? Everybody was fucking with it. Everybody was fucking with that shit, you feel me? So, once he peaked, everybody fucking with his shit, you feel me? That's Bobby was right there, you feel me? That's, what, that's what's up, that's what's up, that's what's up, man. So, how old you were when you first started rapping? I was like, I was like 14. 14, 15. Yeah? Yeah. What was your first song like? The first song that you feel like people actually started listening to you for? Um, probably like my first song I ever uploaded on SoundCloud. You feel me? I had like, it was me and my dogs. It was all three of us on the track. You feel me? Don B, Shout Scoop. You feel me? So. We made, a, we made a little song called We With It, you feel me? It's on SoundCloud still. And then everybody started like gravitating to it and shit, you feel me? I was never taking that rap shit serious, you feel me? They was really rapping, and I'm like, hey, man, you feel me? Them, them boys hard, so let me say my little two line and shit. Mm-hmm. So, so, boom. Everybody started telling me, you know, start going longer than two lines and shit. I'm like, I ain't gonna lie, you feel me? Like, I ain't really use that for me. I just thought about two bars real quick. Like, yo, that shit was hard, bro. You gotta come up with something, something else. All right, so when I started coming up with more shit, started writing shit, you know, people was like, 
that shit really hard. You feel me? That's really why it was, like kept me going and rapping. Mm-hmm. Nobody was like there telling me, you feel me? Oh, you feel me? I felt some shit from that shit. I'll, I'll never be doing that shit. So like, what what local artists inspire you? All of them, but you know what I mean, I, I I relate more to people in my hood than, than industry niggas. You feel me? I don't I don't relate to other niggas. You feel me? I like listening to shit like that. I can feel. You feel me? And I feel more to real boys to niggas in the hood. So I, I listen to all them boys. Like, do you have anybody specific? I you mean, know Rock Liz. You feel me? I listen to Papito. Phil Vinci, um, I mean, all them boys, um, it's, it's a lot of niggas, there's no, you coming from Miami, homie, I listen to you, shit, I, <laughs> I listen to you, homie, I'm watching, I listen. So, who can you say has been, like, really influenced you, like, one person that you say that's really influenced you on you and your career? People I'm with every day. I mean, it's like, yo, don't stop. You feel me? The days you like, I feel like, you feel me? I don't really need to do this shit. Like, I, I like to do it. You feel me? So if I ain't like to do it, I would never be rapping. You feel me? So people always telling me, don't do it. Like, you feel me? Rock Glitch, you feel me? We, we had a group, a music group called For Life. You feel me? Everybody stayed tapped in, telling me, you feel me? Keep going. I, mean, I got a couple of big homies keep telling me to keep going and shit. So those are the most influential people. To me. All right, all right. So for the um for the people that don't know, where you from? I'm from North Miami. You know I mean? North Miami on the east side. Um, what's it like growing up on the east side? Shit, you know I mean, nothing but vultures on the east side, really. Just, I mean, it's all the same like any hood, homie. Every hood, it's, there's this, this shit in every hood, homie. We got all that shit. I, mean, I feel like we're more influential. We, we're, we're a lot of influence in Miami, in North Miami. Mm-hmm. You know, I've been, I don't know if it's for me, whenever I think the word Jouet, I think of Jouet Collection. Like, how did you, how did you come up with that? The streets gave it gave it to me, you feel me? I, we, I ain't even have a name for my shit. Everybody started saying it's wet collection, I mean, it's wet collection. I mean, we, we had the word it's wet in our, in, in our shit, mm-hmm. but I mean, everybody was like, it's wet collection, so that's why, that's why I needed that. Mm-hmm. So how did you end up coming up with the uh, with the um, first logo? Um, my daughter, um, Zay, Stick Zay. Uh, he had drew that for me a little throwback. It was probably like a year old when I when I actually seen it. You feel me? I seen it for the first time. I'm like, damn, that shit is for you. Feel me? I used to make shirts in high school, like group shirts. I mean, everybody used to tell me to, to to buy a shirt in high school, but I never I never sold anything. So once once I seen the drawing, I'm like, damn, I could put it on a shirt. You feel me? I'm trying to make some new group shirts. You feel me? So I put on a shirt, and then I had a couple people wear it. Everybody started asking me for it. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, damn. I mean, I can make some bread off this right now. So I had been to Zay. I'm like, you feel me? I had all that Zay. You feel me? It's his drawing. So I'm like, man, you feel me? Like, we could have take off with this shit. You feel me? But he gave me his blessing. We did it. I mean, that shit, that shit took off. So, what's your plan going forward with this red collection? Are you going into like designing jeans, hats, or? Yeah, like all that. Like, you feel me? We're going to go to all that hats, jeans, you know, for me, varsity jackets, you know, tracksuits. We got tracksuits coming on the way. I mean, January, to me, hoodie season. But, you feel me? All that shit is just like, because I'm doing so much right now. I'm not doing like rapping and shit. I mean, all that shit is like, I feel like if I'm gonna take it to the best potential, I gotta be at my best potential. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So all that shit can be soon. Yes, 
That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, is there, when you look at the um the clothes, right? Is there anybody else who you can say that you that you see doing anything, like upcoming like, brands? Yeah, like I support all them boys, man. Like I see, like um Chapel Don. You feel me? We got Forever Drippy. We got. We got, we got Sheesh, I know a full trip is doing his thing out there. For me, uh, Trenches Apparel. We got, um, yeah, I know it's a lot more, but trust me. And if I seen you, your shit, I got you, I got a pair. For me, I, I swear mm-hmm. everybody. For me, so shout out to all these boys out there. That's what's up, that's what's up, that's what's up. So, I want to know, like, you're Haitian, right? Yeah. What what's it like growing up Haitian? I feel like growing up Haitian, we different. Like we grew up different, probably because like our parents came from like you know some real trenches shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's still trenches shit going down in Haiti right now. So you feel me? We grew up different, and coming out here, you feel me? We was looked at as different, but now you feel me? I guess we fit in now, but coming up, we was, we was different. Mhm. Like, what's what's one um one memorable moment you had from like being Haitian? Like for me, it was a moment where I went I went home one day and I didn't give my mom a kiss on the cheek, and she snapped on me like she almost like she was like really upset about that. So it's like one Haitian thing. Like moment. Like a Haitian moment. Yeah, like a Haitian moment, like, like some real Haitian, Haitian mom, shit. All, all my Haitian moments are like funny. Like, like they be saying some shit. Like you will hear a Haitian talk, like a Haitian mom talk, mm-hmm. and it, it'll be just so funny. Even if they're so serious, yeah, it's just so funny. It's like something funny about it. Like I don't know. Like I don't. I don't, know. I don't got no moment right now. But <laughs> <laughs> it's probably was a funny moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But on a um on a different note, you know, lately I've been seeing like a lot of a lot of things related to Black Lives Matter. You know, with the cops killing unarmed black men, yeah. and um in the in the news all over social media and everything. So I want to know, what's your take on that? Like, how do you how do you feel about what's going on in the country? Shit, like it's just crazy, bro. Like, I know I I don't know what's the solution to that. Like me personally, I wouldn't know. It's cops killing like black people. Like I feel like it's just some crazy shit, bro. We'll never get to know that shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We we'll would never get to know that shit. It's like shit. I don't feel like shit will ever change. Why you think things will never change? You don't think if they change like laws or something, things will change or? Cause if you think by laws, like we get like. Laws change like every year, bro. So mm-hmm. it's like, how is it gonna be a set change if stuff change every year, like you're on a yearly basis? You feel me? I don't think there's gonna be any change. Yeah, I understand. I understand what you're talking about, but um, like, you know, Miami. It doesn't seem like it seemed like it's real diverse, right? With a lot of different cultures. So a lot of people wouldn't expect for racism to happen down here. But have you been through like any racist moments in your life before? Um, shit, yeah, yeah. I had a fucking Chinese man try to chop my head off because I was black. Nah. <laughs> yeah, this guy was a black. He, he thought I was talking to his daughter. He tried to chop my head off, like he had a machete and shit. <laughs> you should. For real, how, like how, like can can you take us to like how how it started? That was trying to talk to his daughter. Like, he'll come down the daily. We see he see us walking like we. I was a kid, so he'll see us like walking with around his daughter, and he'll think like he black. He was trying to talk to my daughter and shit. Mm-hmm. Feel me? I was running around. We was running around doing bad shit. You feel me? Just jumped off one day, big machete. Like tripping, tripping, tripping. That's crazy. That is crazy. Nah, but it's been. I've been through a couple racist shit though. But it's like 
Uh, that's how. That's what I tell you. The world is crazy, bro. Like, there's people out here that really think like you're you're black. So like, it's fuck you, bro. Mm-hmm. Like fuck you. Like I don't even know you. I never. I would never would care to know you, but I would kill you, bro, just cause your color, bro. That's just crazy. Yeah, it's fucked up, but that's that's the world. That's the world we live in, like. And another thing I've been noticing, right, is like. Boom, you have dudes like 6 9 they get out of jail, he told on a whole bunch of dudes, and they still accept them. How you feel about, how you feel about snitches? I ain't gonna lie, it's like, bro, you can't come back from that. That's something you really can't come back from, bro. I know, like, the toughest nigga, bro. I know the toughest nigga. They said he ratted. Bro, if nobody, they turned his back on him, bro. Like, yo, you would never be looked at the same. Mm-hmm. And no matter what you did, you will never look at the same. So, do you believe like so? Boom! If you was a real nigga before you snitch, you can never say you're a real nigga. You just snitch. No, you can't say you're a real nigga, bro. You snitch. It's like you know what you was doing, bro. It's like whatever, whatever you gonna snitch on. It's like, bro. Like, what can you snitch on to like say? It's like you know what you're doing. You know you you, you telling. Bro. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know you telling, so it's like, what can you say? Well, what about the dudes that embrace these dudes? Like, it's actually a few people who embrace snitches when they get out. They'll they be like, out for snitches. They'll, they'll say it's because of the situation, but no matter what the situation is, you put yourself in it. So it's like, you got to accept consequences, right? Like, you didn't want to accept the consequence because you chose, I mean, you made a decision, but she didn't want to, you feel me? Except the consequence. Mm-hmm. That's what it be about. That's why they embracing them and shit. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, what's the what's the hardest thing you think you've been through in your life? The hardest thing? It's probably it's fucking hardest thing. Like, 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 what you mean by that? Hardest thing. What like, life? you know, some people have trials and tribulations. Like, I know a couple of dudes that was homeless at one point in time. Mm-hmm. Other people I know been to prison. Other people I know have babies. Like, do you have any, like, significant moments in your life? Mm-hmm. And a significant moment doesn't necessarily have to be a bad moment. But what do you think is, like, a significant moment for you? All the times I was broke. When I was, when I, every time I was broke, it showed me like, you feel me? Like, get off your ass, nigga. Like, you know, you, you could go good, fucking go get some shit. You feel me? You gotta go do something. You broke. You just sitting there broke for it. You feel me? That if there's anything that me, affected me, those are my broke moments. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. So how do you how do you feel about? Dudes that 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 complain about not having money, but they don't go out and go get it. Bro, there's no excuse. You could be doing something like these celebrities be bashing these these people out here for like I mean they say they say if you could talk, you could say welcome to McDonald's. You feel me? I seen some shit like that. You feel me? But I feel like if you if you could, could if you out here, you feel me? Especially if you got a mom, a parent, you feel me? If, mm-hmm. Especially if you have a child, you have a purpose, you feel me? You should be doing whatever for your purpose. There's no reason to be out here, bro. Mm-hmm. So what what, what's, what what do you plan on doing when you do become financially like, like wealthy and things that take off for you? Do you plan on giving back to the hood? Like, what's your, what do you yeah, want to I do? I give back. I, I give back now. I be out, I don't feel me, I don't be having much, you feel me? But I know, you feel me, God blesses you, you feel me? It's a, it's a blessing. Some people don't have nothing. So it's like, it's always someone doing worse than you, just just know that, you feel me? So, cause I know it's always someone doing worse than me, you feel me? Like, I could be good, and then I know like, these kids coming up, I ain't have shit, my people ain't gonna have me, give me, give me shit, you feel me? I have shit. I got, you feel me, shit I don't even use. I mean, there's nothing wrong with giving back. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, that's why I believe in that shit. I, I be giving back now. I went to high school like last year, get back jackets and shit. You feel me? Just because I wish that 
it was a someone out here doing some shit like that and giving all jackets. Mm-hmm. I, I would have been right there. Yeah, you were right there. You gave it back to the school you used to go to too. That's a, that's another difference. Yeah, it's like there's a lot of dudes who they do a lot of dirt in the community, and then once they come up, they leave the community. Y'all never give back. How you feel about that? Shit, I feel like I don't know, man. Maybe they, maybe some point in their life they feel like they ain't they fuck the community. I don't know. You never know what people go through and shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know me. I know myself. So. I mean, like I would, I would have want that to happen to me, so I did it. Okay. Yeah. For me, I believe in God, so God blesses everyone. No, but some people like just two point of views. Some people think like, damn, if I stay inside the hood, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna get killed. But other people think it's like plain point, fuck the hood. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and you got dudes like Nipsey, right? Boom, gave back to the community and got killed inside the community. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you think about stuff like that, like, damn, do I look out for the hood? Or do I just go about my separate ways? But at the end of the day, that choice is yours. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's just all about the way how you see your perspective. And two, you can get back to your community without physically being there yeah. also. If you want your presence to be felt, you can go yeah, and show your face, like but you, you don't have to be there to get back. Right. Facts. But like another question I wanna ask you, right? If you had a chance to play inside a movie, what movie would you play in? Power. Just because I like how that shit <laughs> was rocking. <laughs> <laughs> so you would want to be on power? Yeah. Like what, what what role you think you would have if you was a character? Oh shit. I don't know. They probably would have gave me ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> but damn, I would have want my son to take me out there. <laughs> nah, I can't. <laughs> why? Why you say ghosts? For like ghosts was like ghosts was like the he was like the playmaker. You feel me? He mm-hmm. made everything. He made certain shit happen. Not certain, certain like characteristics, but you feel me? Like the the role he played like in the show. For me, as a kid's character, for me, he played like important. Like he was a pop, he was everything. I mean, he made shit happen. He had niggas making bread. He was feeding everybody. For me, shit like that. So you think you, you call yourself the playmaker? Oh, uh, Sam. So I, I'm, yeah, I say I'm a playmaker. Like, what you say? I'm that person. Like for me, I push it together. Mm-hmm. And, this person might not know this person, but for me, let's just make it happen. Yeah. If you had a chance to get a feature with a celebrity or anybody in general, who would it be? A feature? Mm-hmm. Right. Like, as of right now, or are you talking about, like, like um, at all? Like, period. If you had a chance to get a feature with any artist, dead or alive, who would it be? Like it'd probably be someone old. I don't know. Someone like I would, I would have to think out the box. I don't, I want to do like different shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I would even say it's a rap nigga if it's a, if it's a you feel me a, a all genre kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know right now. Me, if I had a chance to do a a, a feature with anybody that alive, it'd have to be Bob Marley, Tupac. Future and Gucci, those would be my four, right there. You get, you have, you have more than one. I thought it was just one. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> no, no, I'm saying not one in general. You know what I'm saying? But like who, like you know what I'm saying? Who? Uh, um, shit, fucking yeah, Gucci. Um, you feel me? Tupac, Biggie, Jay Z. Just to just to see how, just how, just to see how our songs would would collide and shit. Mm-hmm. Just as an artist. You feel me? I want to I want to do some shit with Dirk and shit like me, you know I mean? shit like that. Do you have any um, advice for any upcoming artists? Do your research. You gotta this marketing behind this music shit. It's um, you 
You feel me? It's planning. It's more thought. It's not. It's not just drop. It's not just. You feel me? Post post random shit. Post here today. Nah, you gotta work. You gotta you gotta keep be consistent. You feel me? Shit like that. Anybody doing music? Mm-hmm. What's the best advice you could say you got in the music game? To trust nobody. Don't trust nobody in the music shit. Everybody trying to get one, bro. Most likely, you feel me? They trying to, it's not like even trying to get one. They, they looking out for themselves. Mm-hmm. You feel me? What's best for them. So you got to look out what's best for you. You feel me? So that's what it is in any business. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Do you have anybody you would like to give a shout out to? Shout out to Rod Glitter. Shout out to Don B. Shout out to Lil Vinci. Papito, you feel me? Shada, you feel me? No mammy east side, no mammy in general, you feel me? Shout out to Rap Come Up, shout out to 28 Put Me On TV, mm-hmm. you feel me? Everybody working 